on the app it said I did not have e either of them so Caleb Hello, a day with Caleb. Uh, today, we well, we went to McKay's, but uh, we'll throw in a few clips uh, of Knoxville and Chattanooga. But this is a pickups video for well, the first day of Knoxville. I'm doing my Knoxville McKay's video. The second day of Knoxville. This is confusing, I know. But we're doing the first day of Knoxville and the last day, Chattanooga, Saturday, combined in a pickups video. We won't show the store. Didn't show much of Chattanooga anyway. A couple minutes worth of video. But this is a combination, so let's get through this because we'll have at least a few things probably from Chattanooga. First we'll show the receipt. Uh, not as long as Chattanooga's receipt, but still a pretty healthy uh, receipt. 48 items this time instead of the 70-ish odd items I got at Chattanooga. So, we'll go through the media, then we have toys and books. So, you know from my Mummy Obsession video uh, that I collect variations of the Mummy. So, this one I got two of. Have the deluxe edition on DVD, did not have it on Blu-ray. This is the same as you can see artwork, but this is a Blockbuster rental. So, got both because this is Blockbuster, Blockbuster clothes, and this is such a cool Blu-ray variation of The Mummy. So, had to get both of those. Uh, Mary, if you're watching, uh, she sends me different variation pictures to see if I have them. Did not have these two, so add in those. Then this one, again, uh, had this variation of the trilogy on DVD, not Blu-ray. And I go by this number at the corner, the bottom there. There's a little number that you can go by as far as art variations if you're collecting a certain film let's say you're a big uh what movie let's say braveheart you would i don't know if there's any variations but you can look at the bottom usually a number or a code then shirley temple everyone's little princess there's some movies and different specials that I didn't have. And then there's a documentary too. So I had to pick that up. Then uh, some for a foreign film here, Sacrifice. Looks interesting. Hidden. Uh, oh God, book two. Have the first one. Omega's Finest Home Videos, Love and Marriage. Accident Man, 
looked interesting. This is a very cool upgrade IMAX T-Rex back to the Cretaceous. We saw this uh, in the IMAX theater blown away. Uh, for the longest time I've had this on VHS. Saw this, grabbed it immediately because I love this film. So had to upgrade that. Very cool. Probably my favorite IMAX film ever, they've ever done is this T-Rex. Love that. If you don't have that, go immediately and pick it up. This is Amadeus Director's Cut uh, two disc special edition. As you know, I love me some two disc special edition DVD sets. Then Michael J. Fox uh, Comedy Favorites Collection. This has The Secret of My Success, The Hard Way, For Love or Money, and Greedy. Most of it's not about Greedy. Kirsten Dunst uh, is in this film. Uh, have Greedy, well I have all of these on VHS, but it's sad to upgrade. Greedy uh, on DVD and love Michael J. Fox. This uh, Bruce Willis, 10 minutes gone. Blood Ties, uh, Rob Zombie, uh, He's hit or miss for me, but 31, uh, really did enjoy that film, so had to pick that up. This is Michael Shane Mysteries, Volume 1, uh, The Man Who Won Die, Sleepers West, Blue, White, and Perfect, Private Detective. So it's a cool set there. Love those kind of film noir mysteries. Luther... Then, uh, I do collect Scorpion King variations, but there's a double, uh, purpose for this. Uh, I did not have Conan the Destroyer, and I had Conan the Barbarian on VHS. So, upgrades and get Scorpion King variation. These, uh, will traffic and... Yeah, traffic I have on VHS, the rest I have on DVD. Just a bundle for $2. Seemed like a good idea. Then this is uh, Man with the X-rays. The Man with the X-ray eyes. Say that three times fast. Heard about this, uh, never seen it. That evening sun. Still Alice, uh, the last time we were at McKay's, almost got it, but it was like $10 or something. So, a little bit of time goes by, they drop the prices on their movies. So, drop down to 4 bucks. Decide to get it. This is Marlene Dietrich, uh, the Glamour Collection. Uh, let's see what films... Morocco, Blood Venice, The Devil is Woman, The Flame of New Orleans, Golden Earrings. So a pretty cool set there. Actually, I think it is backwards. Yeah, that's better. So, Riches Season 1 did not have. The Betsy. Uh, at the Gate of the Ghost, another cool foreign film. Been wanting to check this out, Woodstock, uh, Three Days of Peace and Music. So it just shows some of the singing and then kind of goes over what happened at Woodstock. My dad and uncle... Uh, was actually at Woodstock for one day, I believe they went. Uh, Hitch on Blu-ray, have this on VHS, so upgrade. The Lemon Drop Kid, Bob Hope, A Broken uh, Life. 
A Fish Called Wanda, the two disc. I believe Josh got that as well. Uh, Thor on Blu-ray. Had it on DVD. Uh, of course, Marvel Phase 1 has the Blu-ray, but if I want to watch it, I don't want to take the Phase 1 box set out and get everything discombobulated. So, finally upgraded Thor to Blu-ray. The only MCU movie that I did not have on Blu-ray was Thor. Uh, Wish Upon, a uh, very cool, underrated movie. Uh, at the Earth's Core. Heart and Soul, uh, Disney kind of documentary. Uh, I am Steve McQueen. Love me some Steve McQueen. Josh actually found these two. Along with this one, uh, Stooges, the men behind the mayhem. So all about the three Stooges. Can't wait like to look at that. Then uh, the uh, Lost City looked interesting. Then I got The Island, the original with Michael Caine, and then the remake with Scarlett Johansson and Ewan McGregor. So got both of these. I thought I had the island, but on the app it said I did not have e either of them, so I got those. That was all the media for Knoxville, so let's quickly go over some of the other things I got. Uh, if you're a fan of Angry Beavers, you know exactly who this is. Norbert. Norbert. Don't think I'll get Daggett. Uh... There's Norbert and Daggett from Angry Beavers, but had to get Norbert. Angry Beavers, one of my favorite shows uh, growing up as a kid. Then uh, Hercules, The Legendary Journeys. This is... Uh, what's... I can't pronounce that name. I'm not good at reading. Is that... Lawless? Lawless? I don't know. I just remember Hercules, but had to grab that. That's a cool action figure. Then this I have out of box. Uh, JLA Martian Manhunter. Did not have it in box because I cut this out and put it in a scrapbook. Thinking about doing um, a video on like going through my scrapbooks comment down below if you would be interested in that probably uh hopefully in the near future we'll film a video of that but in one of the in one of the scrapbooks is this cut out so happy to have that in box then i got uh batman v superman donna justice the kind of cool hooded, uh, like trench coat Batman. Very cool to have that. Then let me back up and show you this cool shirt. X Men Apocalypse, there. Very cool to have that. Six bucks. Then Paul Newman, uh, People Tribute. 1925-2008 It just kind of goes through his career Then uh, Marvel Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 1 This has the first 15 issues of Ultimate Spider-Man For 5 bucks, could not pass up on that Then DC Comics Cover Girls very cool. Just goes through the different comic cover girls of the DC universe. So that was all of Knoxville. We'll time jump a couple of days in the future and we'll pick up with pickups I got from Chattanooga. 
So let's do it. Let's jump forward in time. Whoa. We were transported days into the future. I have pickups here from Chattanooga, the last stop, coming back home. Uh, so these are the th few things I grabbed. Again, we'll show the ticket. This probably is the top, the smallest ticket. <laughs> womp womp. But that's okay. I got quality at this store, not quantity. First thing is this Batman Forever pop. How awesome is that? Batman Forever. Not the greatest Batman. Certainly uh, better than Batman and Robin. But as a child, Batman and Robin, that toy line, was insane. We, uh, our mom used to clean, uh, for these, uh, that, yeah, they were wealthy. I would say fairly well off, rich, uh, probably super rich. But their son had every Batman and Robin figure known to man. So each week, uh, we would get paid because we helped her a little. Each uh, week, we would go back with the newest Batman and Robin toy. He would have it, plus all the others they released. He had the full toy line. So, was super jealous of him, but that's okay. Uh, because the figures I do have, I cherish. Who knows? If he still has his. Anyway, uh, Batman Forever, I remember coming back from a harvest festival. That's big in the south where you, it like, I don't want to get into it, but it's like candy. You can go trick-or-treating. It's like coming back from that, Batman Forever had just started on TV. It was like a Halloween marathon. So, had to get Two-Face. I know that was a long explanation to tell you why I bought Two-Face. Then this awesome two-disc uh, tombstone. Look at that, with like the burnt edges, western. Tombstone, probably my fa- it is my favorite western, I would say that. Then this awesome, awesome Lion King Collector's DVD gift set. Uh, special edition. So there it is there. You can see the back. Then I have this uh, Lion King 2 disc. Uh, you can open it up. Awesome artwork. Very interactive. Have that. But it comes in the cool box set and this awesome book. Check this bad boy out. Let's see if I can do it. So there's art, there's different things. Then uh, this, like, these character sketches, like full on certificate of authenticity. These awesome, 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 how many times can I say awesome sketches? Very cool. So for six bucks, had to. Put that in the collection. You know I'm a sucker for these special edition gift sets. Uh, then these are strictly just for the cover art. These comic booky style still books. I'm trying to collect them all. Uh, I do have King Kong and the Ultimate Directors. Like that awesome book set. The, the gift set. That comes with the two discs, the director's cut, the book, all kind of stuff. And I have this in the gangster box set that I have. Scarface, King Kong, you can see they're similar. They released, I want to say 12-ish? Probably more, right? 15? Then I got uh, Veronica Mars. Uh, got season 2. Bought season one uh, at Goodwill fairly recently, so got that. Actually, the Goodwill video will probably 
yeah, the Goodwill pickups video might be after this. Uh, spoiler alert, I got uh, season one for 50 cents. Actually, yes, it will. It will be at the end of Rick's pickup video, which will be after this. So, yes. Uh, so look forward to that coming soon, but I got the movie uh, because I picked up season two at the Knoxville McKay's, so decided to get the movie. Still looking for season three. Uh, I need to get that. Then Deep Rising Puppet Master double feature there. The Quake, uh, like I said before, sucker for those disaster. Rest in peace, Stan Lee. Of course, I have with great power the Stan Lee story. Did not have it sealed, though. So that is very cool. This talks about his life and his uh, wife, Joan, different things, how he got started, all that. So that's awesome. SSGB looked interesting. Two bucks for a series. Decided to pick that up. Then we have Atomic Blonde still book. Now this is interesting. I did I do check the disc uh, before I check out, and I noticed something was was different in this set. And as you can see, the top there, that is the Blu-ray of Red Sparrow, which is very cool. Because I have both of these on DVD. Do not have them on Blu-ray. So I'll get Atomic Blonde. Put it at the top there. Take Red Sparrow out. Uh, get a two disc DVD. Slide that in the cover art. And then I'll have both DVD Blu-ray. So that's awesome. Awesome find there. Always check your disc. Uh, anywhere you go, use uh, Goodwill, McKay, whatever. Uh, you never know. Uh, hell on the border, some westerns here. I got quite a bit of western, beefed up my collection. Jesse James, Henry Fonda there. Awesome western. This look interesting, Legend of Ben Hall. Just the look of that, you know they're about to tear somebody up. Then, uh, Gone Are the Days, Danny Trago. Looks like a good western. I always love a good western. Never Grow Up with John Cusack. Big John Cusack fan. Obviously, his newer stuff has left some to be desired, but I still like him as an actor. Like Western, so that's a good mix. The Homesman, this was on my wish list. Uh, the The Bang Bang Club looked interesting for a dollar. Decided to take a shot. Uh, Joe with some Nick Cage there. Uh, unforgettable nail biter. We'll see how true that statement is. This is Bandor. Bando Lero with a heroine there taking revenge against people who killed her husband. So that's awesome. The Betty Davis story, Stardust, all about the life of Betty Davis. Again, sucker for Egypt stuff. Uh, you can tell why I'm obsessed with the mummy. Because of stuff like this. Egypt uncovered. Secrets revealed. That's awesome. It has all these documentaries on it. Covers Egypt. Mythology. The mummy stuff. The temples. All that. Then some Steven Seagal. Can't get away. This is attrition. <laughs> and that's what collecting Steven Seagal is. It's a battle of attrition. Because every time you get, you think you're, you're right there, you got them all, he puts out five the next year. So, <laughs> Arsenal uh, looks good. Again, John Cusack teamed up this time with Nick Cage. 
then this is a reckoning revenge come true this uh, same thing uh, she seeks revenge for people killing her husband uh, love great heroin films I don't know if this one is but love uh, when they can kick some butt too just like the guys so that is everything at Chattanooga so that's combined two uh, should have been two separate videos but I wanted to just have three videos for McKay's I didn't want to drag that out so hopefully you enjoy hit that thumbs up button subscribe down below if you are new brand new to the channel hit that subscribe button it really helps the channel grow share with a movie lover maybe a western lover a disney lover or a funko pop lover or any lover of youtube just share the video until next time guys keep collecting